Hello friends! Welcome back to a new video where I'm happy to share some of my insights with you on how I believe we can find our purpose in life. Please note, I can only talk from my experience and knowledge since I'm fully aware of the fact that each of us is unique and we tend to give meaning to our lives based on our experiences. Why do we give meanings to our experiences? Because it is in our human nature to create stories behind everything we live. This way we give meaning to our lives and we internalize our experiences and lessons that come together with them. Without meaning, our minds tend to protect us from everything that has not been decoded as being familiar or as being something that makes sense. And this protection can operate against our evolution as well. This is my opinion on it. There are things that we need to learn and things that we need to unlearn in order to progress. And yes, I do believe we are here to evolve as spiritual beings having a human experience. The more we evolve, the wider the meaning we give to our activities, towards our purpose. There are no things happening randomly without any reason. One of the first things we could look into in finding our purpose is paying attention to all those activities that attract us or inspire us in any way. That feeling of being drawn to a particular activity could be a call for us to dedicate more time and energy towards it. I also believe that we have more than just one gift that could be materialized into a profession or in anything else that could bring a positive difference for ourselves and implicitly for our loved ones and for our communities. Please bear in mind I mainly refer to this topic from the inner work perspective as what happens outside us is closely connected to what happens inside us. Our inner worlds, our feelings, thoughts and actions are the ones that we are in charge of. Whatever happens outside us is something that we cannot control and therefore should not be the subject of our focus. What is the downside of not following our path? Probably a persistent feeling of having left something unresolved behind. I will not dive deep into this subject as it can be developed in many ways and it is a whole new topic. The second thing that comes to my mind when thinking about our purpose is asking for guidance and looking for signs and answers in that direction. What I mean by guidance is in fact paying attention to our intuition. And this point applies in many cases in our adult stages. These answers can come to us in many forms including messages, quotes that seem to appear randomly in our ways, books that we read discussions that we have with certain people in our lives or with some friends and so on. And when these answers come to us, the more aware we are towards them, the easier the path. There are many cases when our parents decide our path in life for us, especially when we are children. There are some cases where that path materializes into a short or long-term career and there are other cases where this doesn't materialize according to plan. Again, each of us is unique. However, we all face some type of changes throughout our lifetimes and it is important for us to look into how these changes can benefit our evolution on the long run. In some cases, it helps us to talk with a friend or someone we trust. Another very important aspect in our life is our role model that can change as we evolve. As we mature, so do our values. I would say that the more we cultivate and educate ourselves, the wiser we become in our decision-making process and the closer we get to fulfilling our purposes. Creating a supportive environment for the path we have chosen can have a major impact on us, especially when we decide to implement some changes in our lives. There is a lot that can be said on this topic. However, I choose to stop here for now and to thank you for being here with me for this video and I'm looking forward to creating even more content for you in the future. Take care and I will see you soon!